Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about how the germicol power of ultraviolet rays could help to fight the coronavirus. Watch till the end to learn all about it and please remember to subscribe our channel. Ultraviolet rays really have a germicidal power against coronavirus. There is even an Italian confirmation. Can UV rays offer us a helping hand in fighting coronavirus? A topic that has been talked about for some time, not without perplexity, but now a new all-Italian study conducted by University of Milan, the National Cancer Institute of Milan, INT, and the IRCCS Donnocchi Foundation and the National Institute of Astrophysics claims that is possible. According to the scientists, ultraviolet light can be useful against the pandemic because of its germicidal power. In particular, the new hopes are placing that of short wavelength or UVC radiation typically produced by the lamps used in aquariums to keep the water sanitized. These rays, according to the new Italian study, have excellent efficacy in neutralizing the CARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. The scientists in the new experimental study started from a certain fact that germicidal power of UVC light, which typically has a wavelength of 254 nanometers or 254 billionth of meters, on bacterias and viruses. This property, widely observed in the past, is due to the ability of light to break the molecular bonds of DNA and RNA that make up microorganisms. Various technologies for the disinfection of environments and surfaces in hospitals and public places based on UVC rays are also in use. A direct measurement of the dose of UV rays necessary to make the virus harmless had not yet been carried out, and so far doses with very contradictory values had been considered, deriving from other scientific works concerning previous experiments on other viruses. By combining a series of techniques from the medical to the aerospace sector, the multidisciplinary research team came to the conclusion that even very small doses of UV light are enough to block the action of the coronavirus. We illuminated with UV light solutions to different concentration of viruses after a very careful calibration carried out with the colleagues of INAF and INT and we found that a very small dose is sufficient 3.7 mJ square centimeters that is a wee equivalent to that delivered for a few seconds from a UVC lamp placed a few centimeters from the target to inactivate and inhibit the reproduction of the virus by a factor of 1000, regardless of its concentration, said Marab Biazin, professor of applied biology of the State University of Milan. Andrea Bianco, INAF technologist, adds With such small doses, it is possible to implement an effective disinfection strategy against coronavirus. This data will be useful to entrepreneurs and public operators to develop systems and implement ad hoc protocols useful to contrast the development of the pandemic. Can the sun help us? Since the beginning of the pandemic, when the doubts were decidedly greater than the certainties, the question was asked whether the arrival of spring and the follow-up of summer would have allowed to counteract the spread of the coronavirus. Even on this, there were conflicting opinions, but the new study would confirm what was hypothesized by another parallel research, still coordinated by INAF and University of Milan. According to the previous study, the ultraviolet rays produced by our sun as the season change could help us against the pandemic, for example by making harmless the virus present in the aerosol and in the very small bubbles that come out of the mouth and nose when we speak or cough. According to what scientists speculate, 
In this case, it is not the short UVC ultraviolet rays, also produced by the sun, but absorbed by the ozone layer of our atmosphere, but the UVB and UVA rays, with a wavelength between about 290 and 400 nanometers, therefore greater than UVC. In their opinion, in the summer season, especially in the hours around midday, when the rays fall perpendicularly on the Earth, it takes only a few minutes for the ultraviolet light of the sun to neutralize the virus, making it even ineffective. Our study seems to explain very well how the COVID-19 pandemic developed with more power in the northern hemisphere of the Earth during the first month of the year and is now moving its peak to the countries of the southern hemisphere, where it is already starting to winter, decreasing instead in the northern hemisphere, added an INAF researcher. However, it should be considered that other factors could have influenced the attenuation of the infection registered for some weeks in Italy, from social distancing to the mutation of the virus, but the research could be useful to understand if a possible second wave of contagious in autumn could be connected to the less efficacy of the sun in neutralizing the virus and therefore understanding if the sun's rays have been decisive for the mitigation of the infections. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe our channel. Watch our next video!